Pisces, welcome to Blunt Tarot. My name is Robin. And Pisces, today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. We're going to find out how they're thinking and feeling about you, what messages you need to receive, what you can expect from them in the next couple weeks. Talk to us about Pisces. Codependency, okay? Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So your person might have some kind of toxic addiction, tox, uh, excuse me, addiction or toxic pattern that is holding them back or affecting it. So let's see what's going on. What do you want to say about this person? How are they feeling about Pisces? And Pisces, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you ah, if that's one, if you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. The Seven of Swords and the Fool. You might know about these addictions, or you might not. I get the feeling you might. The Seven of Cups. Can't see that one, so hold on, we'll get into this in a moment. So, the Three of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Two of Swords, and on the bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands. Yeah, so... It's funny because at the beginning I said, what messages do you need to receive? Well, you will be receiving a message from this person. This person, Pisces, is strategically trying to figure out how to talk to you. They've, um, this is going to be a lot more about them and honest, honesty than their feelings towards you. Their feelings is basically the king of wands. They have a lot of passion, a lot of lust. They want your attention. They have a burning, like they're yearning for you. See how his wings are on fire? This person has a lot of passion for you. Um, but they're strategic, strategically trying to find a way um to fix this to get to you to talk to you to message you they did some self-sabotaging here and they know it the three of swords is about self-sabotage so whatever this was this codependent behavior that they did it could be anything from financing to gambling to sex to rock and roll to alcohol to working to drugs could be anything they want to put it behind them they're aware that they um they're aware they screwed this up um and now they want to try and fix it and they're going to come and talk to you and tell you but i don't know how you're going to feel because um they're they're holding on to this they never release this but this is really slow so whatever that codependency is i don't feel like it's that obstacle or that issue is over for the two of you um it's going to be slow for them to get over it and when they come and tell you that they want to work on this they're aware of the problem you know, you know the first step is admitting the issue right and then you can go from there but until someone's willing to admit it there's nothing you can do um, but they're willing to admit it. And now I feel like number one and number two, your intuition knew this. You knew this was coming. You're Pisces. Here you are. <laughs> Showing up here with all your knowledge and your, your spiritual wisdom and insight. But the two of swords is also telling me a little bit of your intuition might be blocked when it comes to this person. Sometimes when our feelings get involved, when we have personal, like when our, yeah, when our personal feelings are there, we can't always trust our intuition. Our feelings get involved and they overpower it. So I feel like your intuition's blocked here a little bit, but yet you kind of know um so expect this person to come and talk to you here pisces um they want to take things slow but they want to fix this they want your attention like i said they're pining they're yearning for you they're longing for you here but um two of swords let's make sure we what do you want to say about the two of swords four of pentacles in reverse the nine of wands you yeah the two you've I feel as though we're going to find out because we're going to get the potential outcome, but I feel like you, um, sorry, the cards aren't all on camera here. Tried to move it. Oh, look at that. The Ace of Pentacles. You don't know if this new beginning can happen. I feel like, um, you might feel like it's a little bit hopeless. You might've released it already, but until, unless they're completely rid of this, whatever that was, I don't feel like you want anything to do with it. And I do feel they're coming back to you. They want your attention. They miss you before they've fully gotten over that codependency here. So let's get a few Oracle messages. And then Pisces, we're going to find out how you really do feel and how you're doing in a month from now with this person. Because they're coming to tell you they want to fix this. They want to work on this. But they're coming to admit that they have a problem, but they're not, they haven't actually solved it yet. I think they're going to want your help. So what does Pisces need to surrender to here when it comes to this person? What does Pisces surrender to setting limits? It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Because I'm not sure, like we can't fix other people. They got to heal and fix that. Interesting. This is upside down. We're going to take it. Cherish your relationship. Okay. And what else do you want to say about that to Pisces? Any other caring connections? Yeah. So your connection is eternal and unbreakable so there's a very strong bond with this person 
Um, they want you to cherish and value that for sure. But right now they have this problem. Okay, so what is the hidden truth? What is this person not saying to Pisces? That Pisces needs to know what message you want to pass along. You and I were too young. That's been coming out a lot lately. I do feel like replace the word young also with immaturity. So they might have been too immature. And I want to take something from the bottom. I left you before you could leave me. Interesting. They might have pushed you away because of that codependency. So I do want to grab it. Usually I don't. Um, but I want to grab an energy oracle message here for some reason. So let me go grab it. Hold on because I kind of put them away. Let's grab the energy oracle. What do you want to say to, to Pisces here? What will help them as they go through it with this person? Hostilities. All right, so when one comes out of the deck, the message is in the book, and I do believe there's a strong message here because I wasn't going to use this deck. So hold on, let me get your message here, Pisces. Okay, so when it comes upright, it reveals a situation where hostilities towards you are about to or have already been engaged. The aggressive energy might be verbal or emotional with someone in your environment being excessively critical, demanding, or even hurtful. In a work or social situation, there might be backstabbing or out-and-out -out slander. Um, so this is different from the other cards because these energies are apparent or very overt. In fact, you may have been living with it for some time, but whether it's new or old, now is the time to regain control. Allowing dishonoring treatment from others is an open invitation to the universe to send you more. It may feel risky, but you need to have the courage to stand up for yourself. That's two very, very strong cards. So this person may not have... <laughs> Take that. Take the message there because I don't really usually like embellish on it, but I feel like boundaries are very strong when it comes to this person. They're pining for you, but lust isn't everything. And there's an issue here. And um, I feel like that issue has caused you harm, Pisces, or it will in the future. Let's get your potential outcome. So let's see how you're doing in a month. So I say potential because there's always free will. And in a month is where the outcome is. How is Pisces and this person doing in a month from now? What does Pisces do? Do they reject them? Do they go back to them? Do they just ponder it? Do they sit? Where do they? What? Justice. All right. Queen of Cups in reverse. There's the King of Wands. So, and there's the Eight of Wands. So you go forward with this person. There's the Three of Pentacles. So Pisces, you're working on it with it. You're fe the Queen of Cups, I feel like you're overwhelmed with emotion. Um, you want to help them. So this is all about four movement. They're your soulmate. Justice is about success. Um, this is about, um, but I want to get this queen of cups. I want to clarify her because she's upside down. She's the only thing. And I feel like that's you. So why are you upside down? Because you have success. You have this partner here. This is anchoring it. This is love. This is soulmate. This is a partnership. There's that king of wands. He's looking right at you because that's what he wants. You guys are moving forward. You're working on this, but the queen of cups is in reverse. Why? Why is the queen of cups in reverse? Page of wands. And the Six of Pentacles. I think you're having a tough time dealing with that, Pisces. So let's say their codependency is alcohol. You know, you're the one that takes the brunt of that. So I feel like you're working on this. You're trying. You're giving to this. You're trying to create this balance. I feel like you're trying to help them. Um, and you're trying to put, yeah, you're trying to you are doing everything you can to help this person heal, but I, I feel, and that's why I feel like maybe the message came out today, it might be a little bit overwhelming, so be aware of that, that when people are going through addictions or, like, let's say it's alcohol, you know, I think I just said that, they come home from work, they just start drinking, they get mad, they get frustrated, they they just take it out on you, um, and with the page of wands and the queen of cups in reverse, you're not taking that anymore, there's a message for you not to take that anymore, but everybody deserves, you know, you're giving this person the opportunity to work through this. Um, but just be aware that that's still happening as you're going through this. But there is, you're working, you're trying to heal and move forward. You're going to get success. You're going to have the balance that you require and that that you need. But I feel in the process of that, there's still going to be some brunts and some punches, you know, metaphorically, not physically, hopefully not physically. Don't like, okay, metaphorically <laughs> um, on you as you go through this with this person. But um, you want to work on it and you want to help them heal it. And that's what I see you doing. Um, so let's get your final message here to close off your reading. What do you want to say to Pisces? What message do you want to pass along? That's what I see. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. It helps others get the message. I always appreciate it. I do feel like this is quite a specific message in reading though. Um, let's get your final message here. What do you want to say to Pisces? You must hold your quiet center where you do what you can, only you can do. So choose stillness as an active practice of patience. 
It is okay to wait. You will get where you need to be. Pisces, thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.